Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 2008, Christopher Richard Abalo, Rifle. Chris Abalo ranks as the most decorated Army shooter in Academy history. He was a 12-time Great American Rifle Conference All-Star, a three-time Shooter of the Year, and the GARC Rookie of the Year. As a junior, Abalo's marksmanship earned him the National Small Bore Prone Record. He followed up that accomplishment by winning the 2008 NCAA Small Bore National Championship his senior year. Also among his credits, Abalo won the NRA National Collegiate titles in small bore and air rifle. The Army rifle team was 37-7 during his tenure, which included three consecutive wins over arch-rival Navy. In addition, Abalo helped Army to the program's first NCAA team championship in 2005. As an eight-time first-team All-American, Abalo shared the prestigious Army Athletic Association award, while he also earned a spot on the USA Shooting National Team. From the class of 2008, Christopher Richard Abalo, Rifle. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1927, Garrison Holt Davidson, football administrator. Gar Davidson's distinguished career spanned more than 40 years, beginning as a member of the football team, later as head football coach, and eventually as the academy superintendent. As a football player, Davidson will be remembered in the annals of program history as the first player to score a touchdown at Mikey Stadium. Davidson earned two varsity letters in football and also was a part of a win and tie opposite Navy. As head coach of the football team, Davidson amassed an impressive 35-11-1 record from 1933-37 to 37 and beat Navy three times. This is my most prized possession of all, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh, it was after the Army-Navy game in 1937, we had beaten the Navy six to nothing, and Captain presented me with this ball, and uh, I broke down like I'm going to do now. This, this is my most prized possession that I own. Davidson returned to West Point again from 1956 to 60 as superintendent and retired in 1964 as a lieutenant general. From the class of 1927, Garrison Holt Davidson, football administrator. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1955, John Autry Fagan Jr., Administrator, Swimming and Diving. After his graduation from West Point, John Fagan went on to earn his medical degree from Duke in 1961 and returned to West Point as team physician in 1967. During that time, he worked closely with assistant football coach Bill Parcells and head basketball coach Bob Knight. As an author, Fagan wrote The Crucial Ligaments, which helped revise the treatment of anterior cruciate ligament injuries. In addition, Fagan served as the team physician for the U.S. ski team during the 1992 Winter Olympics and as team physician for the Duke University basketball team under West Point graduate Mike Krzyzewski. As a cadet athlete, Fagan earned two varsity letters with the swimming and diving teams. He was a member of the West Point Water Polo Club and later became honorary member of the Army Football Letterman's Club. From the class of 1955, John Autry Fagan Jr., Administrator, Swimming and Diving. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1946, John Frederick Green, football, wrestling. As an offensive lineman, John Green helped open holes for the Heisman Trophy winning duo of Felix Doc Blanchard and Glenn Davis. Army posted a 25-2-1 record in Green's three seasons on the football field and won two national championships. He served as team captain during his senior season, 
and earned three varsity letters. A two-time All-America, Green was further honored with induction into the National Football Foundation and College Football Hall of Fame in 1989. On the wrestling mat, Green finished runner-up at heavyweight at the 1946 Eastern Intercollegiate Wrestling Association Championships. From the class of 1946, John Frederick Green, football, wrestling. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1990, Jennifer Ann Grisbeck, swimming and diving. Jennifer Grisbeck ranks as one of Army's most accomplished swimmers. A backstroke specialist, Grisbeck won the 1990 NCAA championship in the 200-yard backstroke. One of the most dominant female athletes on the intercollegiate level to attend the academy, Grisbeck earned 11 All-America certificates during her four seasons in the black, gold, and gray, and held Army school records in the 100 and 200-yard backstroke at the time of her graduation. Few were able to match the level of expertise in her chosen area of specialty in the pool. A native of North Downers Grove, Illinois, Grisbeck still ranks on Army's all-time top 10 in both events. Her time of 58.81 seconds in the 100-yard backstroke stands 8th in Academy history, while her 2-minute 6.67 second finish in the 200-yard backstroke ranks as the 9th fastest time in the Army record book. From the class of 1990, Jennifer Ann Grisbeck, swimming and diving. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1939, Donald Franklin Hull, boxing. Donald Hull was an Eastern Intercollegiate Boxing Association champion at 155 pounds and earns the distinction of being the first Army boxer to be inducted into the Army Sports Hall of Fame. He served as team captain during his senior campaign and led the Black Knights to a 5-1 mark and three straight EIBA titles before beginning a distinguished military career. At the start of World War II, Hull was assigned to the newly formed 18 Airborne Corps. He parachuted behind enemy lines on D-Day and, during the Battle of the Bulge, served on the staff of the Corps holding the north flank of the Bulge. He was awarded the Bronze Star, the French Croix de Guerre with Cluster, the Army Commendation Medal, and the Purple Heart, among his many honors. Following his heroic military tenure, Hull served as president of the International Amateur Boxing Association for eight years and was inducted into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame in 1992, the only West Point graduate to be so honored. From the class of 1939, Donald Franklin Hull, boxing. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1970, James Eugene Oxley, basketball. Jim Oxley was the second player in Academy history to be chosen in the NBA draft when he was selected in the fifth round by the New York Knicks as the 89th overall pick. Oxley helped Army to three consecutive trips to the prestigious National Invitational Tournament when the NIT was the top tournament in the country. He served as team captain of the 1969-70 squad that won an Academy record 22 games and finished third in the NIT. That season, he averaged 15.6 points per game. In his three seasons on the hardwood, Oxley helped Army post a 60-21 overall record. He was also chosen for the Helms Athletic Foundation All-America Squad, was an honorable mention All-American by Converse Yearbook, and a third-team National Association of Basketball Coaches All-District member. From the class of 1970, James Eugene Oxley, basketball. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1953, Alfred Esper Polikas, wrestling, football. Army's first wrestling All-American, Al Polikas was the 1953 national runner-up at the 177-pound weight class. Polikas won a pair of Eastern Intercollegiate Wrestling Association titles and was a three-time NCAA qualifier. 
He is the lone Army wrestler to go undefeated in dual meets during his career and completed a career record of 47-2-1. He also won a gold medal at the Pan American Games in 1955. Paulikas served as team captain of the football team during his senior season and collected a total of five varsity letters during his athletic career, three in wrestling and two in football. From the class of 1953, Alfred Esper Paulikas, wrestling, football. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1964, William J. Straub, cross country, track and field. Bill Straub is being honored for a career where he earned nine varsity letters, three each in cross country and indoor and outdoor track and field. Straub was the 5,000 meter national champion in 1964, setting what was then a meet record in a dead heat and as the lone male runner from Army to ever capture an NCAA championship. At the time of his graduation, Straub held the record for every Army distance event, both indoors and outdoors. He won seven heptagonal races and is the first Army runner to win the heptagonal mile and two-mile runs with his sweep in 1963. He won five titles outdoors, including three successive championships and two indoors. From the class of 1964, William J. Straub, cross country, track and field. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1948, Thomas Burdick Tyree, soccer. Tom Tyree collected three All-America certificates during his sensational soccer career as a dominant goaltender along the banks of the Hudson. He received the Academy monogram during his freshman season, then went on to much greater fame in his subsequent years in the black, gold, and gray. He was named a first-team All-American during each of his next three campaigns, graduating from the academy as the most prolific goaltender in school history and one of the nation's best at his position on the pitch. During his accomplished West Point playing career, Tyree helped Army to a 28-8 overall record. The Black Knights won two of three matchups against arch-rival Navy during his tenure between the pipes. He was widely regarded as one of the nation's top performers at his chosen position in each of his final three years at West Point. From the class of 1948, Thomas Burdick Tyree, soccer. <laughs> 